Hey guys, we are back playing some more Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, and today we are going into a Wobbuffet Crobat deck, because Wobbuffet Crobat is awesome. Actually, let's look at the cards. So, we got the Zubat here with this free flight, um, and it has ability to have no retreat cost, which is pretty nice. Um, we have Golbat here as well, and this is the ability of Golbat and Crobat here, okay? It, Golbat and Crobat, not Crobat. Oh, anyways, um, so it has the ability, when you play this Pokemon from your hand, to evolve one of your Pokemon, you put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. And Golbat has a similar ability that says three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So, basically we're trying to do as many evolve formations of Golbat and Crobat in order to do a lot of damage to your opponent's Pokemon. And that's why we run a 4-4-4 line of Crobat, Golbat, Zubat. And then we have Wobbuffet to top it all off here with a Psychic Assault. This attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, So that means that with Crobat and Golbat's ability, we can put damage counters on the Pokemon, and then we can do Psychic Assault to do double, I mean basically double the damage that's on your opponent's Pokemon already um, with an additional 10 or 30 extra damage with the Muscle Band, if that makes sense. I don't know. But another cool additional thing with, is with the ability of the Wobbuffet here. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, every Pokemon in play has no abilities except for Psychic-type Pokemon. So that still allows for Crobat and Golbat to have their abilities. Um, but we have, as you can see here, we have Ditto and Jirachi in here. Um, and those abilities will get shut off with the Wobbuffet. So that's why we have... Um, special energy and mystery energy in here, which will give Wobbuffet a free retreat cost in order to retreat Wobbuffet to the bench so we can use the Ditto and Jirachi abilities. You may ask, why the Ditto? The Ditto is in here for the transform ability, which makes it so you can take a card for a basic Pokemon from your hand and transform your Ditto into that Pokemon. You just basically put the card down from your hand onto the Ditto. Um, this makes it so when you super scoop up or AZ your Pokemon from your bench, that means you can pick it up and then you can start, you can transform into the Zubat and then you can start evolving the Zubat into a Golbat already first turn when you uh, have the AZ, not first turn, but when, when you AZ or super scoop up your guys, you can totally start evolving right away. And that's why the Ditto's in here. Um, it comes in handy sometimes, so we'll, we'll try to use it. So anyways, we have Pokemon Fan Club in here just to get the Zubats out, Wobbuffets out, whatever we need, Ditto's. And then we have, we do have AZs, like I said. This puts one Pokemon from or one Pokemon into your hand. This card all cards attached to that Pokemon. And then we do have two Junipers, because I don't want to discard too many cards, but at the same rate, I think I might have to I think I want to put another Juniper in here, but uh I don't know if I really want to do that. At this point. Um we'll see. I mean I kinda of, want I put a Skyla in here and took out something, so I kind of want to take the Skyla out and put it in a Juniper. But at the same time, the Skyla is kind of useful, but not really. It's not the greatest thing. I'm just going to take out the Skyla and put it in a Juniper. Why not? Uh, just more support. Wait, I didn't take it out. What happened? I can't take it out. Why can't I take out the Skyla? <laughs> what did I take out? Oh, I didn't take out anything. I just... What the heck is going on here? Okay, I guess... Oh my gosh, I'm screwing up my whole deck list now. Okay, anyways, uh, that's basically what the deck is, but now I gotta... You know, I'm just gonna leave my deck the way it was. One Skyla, two Juniper. Why not? We'll see if the Skyla comes in handy. Um, because apparently my deck didn't want to uh, give me that benefit of the doubt. So, Crobat, Wobbuffet, here we go. Let's see if this deck is any good. It is sometimes pretty good. But this is my second attempt at recording this episode because... First attempt didn't go very well, and I had to rearrange some things in this deck. For example, I had some rare candies in this deck, and they didn't work very well because I was azing up, and I couldn't. We'll just ignore that. We'll just say that never happened, but even though it did. So it looks like we both mulligan here, We're going like up against Daft Derek. We see some hypnotized lasers and a G booster. That means we're going to see some pretty crazy uh, Genesects. But we do start with the Wobbuffet, we do start with two Pokemon Fan Clubs, which is kind of nice. Um, and three Gold Bats, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, jeez, I'm dying over here. Not really. So we do get to draw uh, three three cards, but we don't get to go first. So he's probably just going to end. And oh, oh my gosh, I swallowed down the wrong pipe. Okay, it looks like he's going to get a Genesect out right away. And we do see a Deoxys, which is weak to my Wobbuffet. 
So if he can get a first turn attack off, which is probably not going to happen, um, that would be cool. But he's getting his Wobbuffet, or not his Wobbuffet, his, uh, uh, Genesect super powered up, and now I'm getting poisoned, so I'm just going to die now. I usually happens that way, but hopefully we can get that. Oh my gosh, stop doing things. Okay, he's bringing out his Genesect, my Wobbuffet's definitely going to get knocked out next turn. But wow, um, he's getting everything on his bench, and I get to wake up, which is pretty nice. But I think we're just going to use our this thing and get some Zubats out in order to evolve them next turn um, because, you know, we just need all the Zubats we can get. And then that's all we can really do. I'm probably going to Pokemon Fan Club next turn as well, but he's going to knock me out. And that's going to be good. And now I'm only... Oh, Zubat! Oh yeah, he can do damage to the bench. I forgot about that part. So I'm probably just going to bring out my Zubat, and we're just going to evolve the Golbat. Alright, evolve to the Golbat. 20 on that silly little Genesect. We want to knock out this guy as fast as possible, so we're just going to put 20 more. And I think I'm just going to Pokemon Fan Club for more uh, Pokemon. Uh, should I get the Wobbuffet? kind of want to get the Wobbuffet. Zubat and a Wobbuffet I think is probably a good idea. Um, because I do have another, I only have one more Golbat in my hand, and I can start powering up my Wobbuffet. That's going to take 20 damage, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, and then we can attack. No, we can't. We can end our turn. Or we can just let our Wobbuffet get knocked out. No, that's a bad idea. That's a, oh, I should have I should have let my Zubat get knocked out instead of the Golbat. Oh, well. We can just uh, Sacred Ash next turn, and we can evolve another Golbat. That's a good idea. I think I did the. I think I made the right move there. So, we're gonna do this. He's gonna put 20 more damage on that Zubat. And I'm gonna bring out the Zubat because why not? And we're just gonna evolve to the Golbat. Put 20 more damage on the Genesect. And there's another Wobbuffet. This is actually working pretty well. Um, let's see here. 20 damage on that Genesect. Okay, so now we have 60 damage on my Wobbuffet. Is now doing 70 damage. I'm probably gonna need. A Crobat here, so I'm just going to Sacred Ash these Pokemon back into my deck, and we're probably just going to Juniper and hope to get a Crobat. That would be great. That'd be so great. And there is a Ultra Ball, which is perfect. We do have a Mystery Energy, so we can attach that and start attacking. But we're going to have to take 20 more damage and whatever. Okay, so let's see if I can get the Crobat, because that would put him at 90 damage. My Zubat will be, or not my Zubat, my Wobbuffet will be doing. A 100 damage, we'll easily knock out this guy. Uh, do I want to put the Ditto down? I kind of do. Um, I could try to Super Scoop up too. And just try to get a... I mean, I don't even need to really get the Crobat at this point. I could just... Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just try to get the Crobat, and then we'll try to Super Scoop up. Yeah, that's a great idea. Great idea. We're going to try to Super Scoop up the Crobat then. And... Oh, well, I, I, I guess that's okay. <laughs> Yeah, I just evolved the Zubat. What was I thinking? Okay, well, we can just do 30 damage onto this guy, right? That's what I need to do? Yeah, that's what I need to do. Okay, and then we're going to knock out the Genesect. And we can try to super scoop up my Crobat right now, which is probably a good idea. So I can just uh, get that. And we did flip heads, which is perfect. Bring that Crobat in, and then we can transform the Ditto with the ability. Bring the Zubat down and then evolve, but we can't evolve because I already, that was the first turn, I, oh shoot. Okay, well that was kind of dumb, uh, but it wasn't really dumb. Because next turn I can evolve the Golbat, uh, the Golbat into the Zoo, Crobat, jeez, too many bats. Crobat, Golbat into the Crobat and the Zubat into the Golbat, if he doesn't end me. But I'm gonna knock out this Genesect in the meantime, and yeah. So that strategy didn't work out very well right there because I already put the Ditto down this turn. So I can't evolve the Ditto first turn. That's what basically happened. But if I had that Ditto down before and I transformed into the Zubat, then I could evolve. But I made a stupid mistake. I should have put the Zubat on the bench instead of, of transforming into the Ditto, Ditto. But we do see the um, Megalo Cannon, not, not Megalo, whatever you call that, the item card that comes from the thing. So we're going to see a surprise attack from the EV. He's going to do 40 damage to me, not knocking me out. What does this do? Okay, yeah, Muscle Band. Okay. So we're going to evolve into the Golbat, the Zubat into the Golbat, and then we're going to get the Robat. Shoot. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna put the 20 on the EV. Oh, oh, he quit. He quit. <laughs> uh, he quit. He definitely quit. Dang it, why do you have to quit? Okay, well, that was the first game. That was a pretty good game. That was a pretty good game, except for he quit. Um, yeah, I would have knocked out that EV easily and then probably tried to super scoop up another Crobat and then just go on from there, but whatever. Um, but anyways, let's see what this game will hold. I will go first because I like going first with this deck because the faster you can start evolving your Golbats or your Zubats, the better. Okay, so it looks like we started with a Jirachi, which is kind of not very nice, but we'll work with it. We do have that Shauna in our hand. We're gonna try to super scoop up the Jirachi. I'm pretty sure that might. That's probably the best option. Um, but if not, you know, I'm just gonna try to super scoop up him now. And uh, yeah, if it doesn't work, then I'll have to go another route. A bad start. Yeah, it is a bad start. I don't know if you're talking about me or him uh, or yourself, but. I don't really want to waste these Sacred Ashes, so I'm going to keep one, discard an energy, uh, just in case if I need it. We are going to bring out the Wobbuffet, so we can start powering him up, and maybe hit an attack off on this Mewtwo, because Mewtwo is weak to the Wobbuffet. And then we see another Super Scoop Up. I think I'm going to leave the Super Scoop Up in my hand at this point, and then maybe we can get a Shauna back next turn if we need to. We'll see. We're just gonna. Uh, should I get a. No, nah, we're just gonna leave it the way it is. I was trying. I was contemplating whether or not to get a Zubat out, but I don't really have enough. Another. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But there's an N anyway, so I guess that works. <sighs> I should have probably went for the Ultra Ball Zubat, but there's another Zubat for we, that we can play down. And a uh, Crobat in our hand that we might need to discard if we want a Juniper. But there's a Spirit Tome that he's gonna pick up. Again, but I'm guessing he had a bad start now because now he doesn't have very many things. I'm probably just going to use the Pokemon Fan Club at this point, since I got it, and then just get two Zubats and call it good. Now we have all our Zubats in play, and the Jirachi is still active, but that is fine with me. We can probably try to Super Scoop up next turn, um, or we could get a Golbat out this turn. Nah... I don't know if I want to super scoop up the Jirachi or if I want to leave him active. I'm gonna try, I mean, I think I'm going to try to super scoop him up. But there's a Calrus that he's going to play because I did put all those Zubats down. So he can uh, get the six cards instead of, what was it, like three or four. But he does get an energy on the Mewtwo. And there is a Psychic Energy on my side of the field. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter how many Psychic Energy I have in my Wobbuffet because this Mewtwo is just going to knock him out anyways. But, I think I'm going to, do. oh man, I'm going to keep my Super Scoop up, I mean I'm going to discard it, and I'm just going to try to get a goal bat, I guess, that probably is the best bet at this point, uh, I do have a switch in this deck, I think, I think I do, I mean, I don't even know, hopefully I can get more goal bats this turn though, and there is not any more goal bats, so, I might need to get a, oh man, I might, I'm not going to Skyla for a Super Scoop Up, because that would be kind of dumb if I flip Tails, and that would be kind of a waste of a supporter. So I think I might hopefully try to top deck an AZ, and if I do top deck an AZ, then I can just AZ up the Jirachi, bring out the Wobbuffet, and start knocking out this Mewtwo. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We can definitely play the Crobat on our next turn, though. And there is an N. So, I mean, I guess that, that's fine. As long as I get more Crobats. Or, dang it! There's an AZ, though, which is... Fine with me. Uh, there's a super scoop up as well. But here comes the big bad spirit home. And he gets to shuffle his hand into his deck and then draw a number of cards equal to six, which is my amount of cards. So I could put the AZ down, bring up the Jirachi, and bring out a Crobat. And put more damage on the Mewtwo with the Crobat. Or I could just. Oh man, I don't know what I want to do. Um, I think I'm going to Ultra Ball. I think I'm just going to leave my Jirachi in the active spot right now. Get rid of the muscle. I shouldn't have got rid of the muscle band. Oh well, I'm just going to do it. And then we're going to get a Golbat out. Just to, you know, how much, how many. Yeah, I have two more Golbats left. Yeah, I'm just going to start just evolving my guys here. And then, 
this guy will just keep going. Um, I can't play A-Specs, but he can't play A-Specs either. I'm just going to start putting damage on the Mewtwo, um, just because I like to attack Mewtwo's, apparently. And then I could Super Scoop up. I'm gonna just going to try it, and if I fail, then I'm just going to end, probably. Uh, but I don't, so I can definitely Super Scoop up the Golbat, evolve another Zubat. Oh man, this is perfect. Put more damage on that Mewtwo. I'm just going to target down this Mewtwo, apparently. <laughs> and then I could AZ again. I think I'm just going to do it. I think so, because why not? I have an N, uh, I shouldn't have played that, oh well. I'm just going to AZ the goal bat again and put 20 more damage on that benched Mewtwo. How much damage did I do that Mewtwo? I don't know. I think I did 60 this turn, and then put down the Zubat. So next turn, see I just, I just totally like filtered through all those. I just made the maximum potential out of that goal bat. I just evolved that Zubat, evolved that Zubat, evolved that Zubat. Yeah, that's why I shouldn't have put the stupid Dimension Valley down, because he just got rid of it. Oh well. Uh, I'm sorry, Dimension Valley, you are not stupid. You are a very intelligent stadium card. But I'm just uh, kind of... I don't... I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> and don't worry, we both had bad stars. I'm st I did so much damage to this Mewtwo already, and my Jirachi is still in the active position. <laughs> that's kind of funny. But hopefully, you know, I don't, I just really don't want to knock out the Spiritome. I just don't. I just don't feel like it. And if he knocks out my Jirachi, then I can just end him down to four. But I don't think he's going to knock out my Jirachi this turn. I don't even know what kind of deck this guy's playing. Oh, he has a Mega Manectric. That's what he's trying to get at. Um, but he's going to bring out that little evil tall. And he's going to start attaching energy to it. Oh, maybe not. I don't even know what he's trying to do. He doesn't have any energy in the discard pile, so he's probably just going to start attacking. 50 damage, and that will... Oh, okay, now he has an energy in the discard pile. Okay, well, um, Shadow Circle is in play. Oh yeah, this is a Mega Manectric Evil Tall deck? Is that what I'm getting out of this? I don't know. There's a Manectric Spirit Link, and I'm just going to end next turn. Okay, that's all I can do. Um, I don't really want my Jirachi to get knocked out, so hopefully we can draw a Super Scoop Up. Oh shoot, I only have one left. And then flip heads, that would be the best thing that could happen, but I don't know if that's going to happen. And there's a Pokemon fan club that I can't really use, so I'm just going to end. There's another Golbat. I could retreat the Jirachi into the Wobbuffet. And then do, what, not very much damage to the Evil Tall. But at this point, I think I really want to... Start attacking the evil tall, like the things that actually will matter. Um, and try to save my Jirachi, I guess. But I think I can just let my Jirachi get knocked out. Because I'm not really worried about him knocking out a lot of things. No, I'm just going to start putting damage on the evil tall. And hopefully we can get some Crobats so we can start attacking. But, you know, at the same time, I don't know. I could just bring out a Golbat. I'm just going to start attacking with the Golbat. Why not? Why not? Just do 10 damage to each of his guys. Retreat into the Golbat. And then, you know, he's probably going to bring out that Darkrai and knock me out. But I'm just going to do it. Shoot, that was probably really dumb. He's just going to bring out that Darkrai and knock me out. I should have just left the Jirachi active. I care more about my Golbat than I do about your stupid little... Oh, dang it. Yeah, he's going to knock out my Golbat. And he's going to put 30 on the Zubat. Shoot, this is not good. Dang it! I should have not done that. Why didn't I just leave my Jirachi? And now, no, he's going to go for the Jirachi now. Dang it, dang it. Oh, no, he's going for the Wobbuffet. That's fine. That's fine with me. Okay, we're going to bring out the Golbat. Dang it. Okay, well, at least I can Sacred Ash those guys back into my deck. Um, we're going to put this on the Wobbuffet. This guy's a resistance to... Yeah, he does. Okay. Well, we're going to put these guys back in the deck. Back in the good old deck, and then we're going to N. I kind of wanted to AZ the Jirachi, but not not really. Okay, now we have our Zubat back in action. We have some Crobats that we can just put down. And we're going to put some damage on this. Uh, yes, we are. Uh, I could have knocked out the Mewtwo this turn, but I think the Darkrai is a bigger threat at this point than that. Yeah, we're not doing enough damage, are we? Um, my, my Crobat can survive another turn. 
Um, but my, how much am I wobble fed? My wobble fed's doing, well, this guy is 70, so my wobble fed's doing, well, let me see, 70, 80, 100. 80 for the resistance. So my wobble fed's only doing 80. So I have to do some, oh, this guy is a resistance to my crowbat too. I, I might just have to bring out my wobble fed and then just attack. I think that's the only thing I can really do. Um, yeah, I mean, I can do big amounts of damage, 80. So this guy only has 30 damage left, so all I need to do is get two goal bats in play next turn. Oh shoot, that's gonna be hard. <laughs> oh man. Uh, or I just need one goal bat, and then I can uh, evolve into the crow bat, or attack with the crow bat and do 10 damage. But this Mega Manectrike is gonna be annoying. Because he's going to be knocking out my Crobats in one hit with weakness. Unless he doesn't have any energy, but there's a Juniper. Dang it! Da, 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 da. Okay. Well, this is going to be an interesting match. I don't know. He's going to knock out my Wobbuffet this turn. That's all I know. And he's probably going to put some damage on the Jirachi too. Which means, yeah, that's going to be bad. So he's going to take off the Manectric Spirit Link. Muscle Band off the Mewtwo. Probably put the Muscle Band on the Manectric. And that's it. If he puts the Darkrai on the bench, though, that would be great, because then I can just target down the Darkrai in one hit with a Crobat, and then I don't have to worry about the resistance, because he's on the bench. But he's going to energy switch here to the... Yeah, he's just going to retreat into the Manectric. I don't know if I really want to waste a Crobat, though, because those Crobats are pretty nice getting those damage. Maybe I can evolve into a Crobat, so 30 damage on the bench. That's my... That might... That's my... I don't know what I'm saying. But we might want to knock out this Mega Manek Trike first. And there's an evil tall... There's no way I'm winning this game. There's no way. Bring out the Crobat. And there's another Crobat. Dang it. This isn't good. I don't want to discard these cool cards I have in my hand. And why can't I play my computer search? There's, oh, he has a Spirit Tome in play. Okay, gotcha. So I might want to discard all these cards just to get two Crobats in play. Yeah, I'm just going to discard. Uh, I don't really want to do that, but um, there's a Ditto. I was hoping for a Wobbuffet. Come on, game. Give me a Wobbuffet. Well, I guess I can just waste a Wobbuffet. Knock out the Darkrai. Or not... A, I don't want to waste a Crobat! There's nothing I can really... I, I mean, if I waste another Crobat, I'm pretty much done for. Because that'll be too much things in the discard pile. My Sacred Ashes are already in the discard pile. This is a pretty... This is pretty... I'm in a tough situation. I don't know what I really want to do. Um, like I said, I could knock out the Darkrai, but... The Manectric is the... Yeah, this is not going... I'm definitely going to lose. That Evil Tall is powered up. I don't have a Wobbuffet. I'm just going to waste a turn and sacrifice my Jirachi. Because at this point, that Jirachi's not doing much. Um, and I kind of want to get my... or save my Crobats. Because at this point, even if I didn't knock out the Darkrai, I'm doomed. I need to knock out that Manectrike. That's what I need to do. So I need to get some Super Scoop Ups. I already used them all, didn't I? No, I didn't. I used three. So there's one left somewhere. How many AZs did I use? One, two, three. <laughs> Dang it. But I do have the VS Seekers, so I can get those back, the AZs. And see what I can do. Um, but he's going to knock out my Jirachi, and I'm going to try to get a Wobbuffet in play and attach an energy or two. How many Dimension Valleys do I have left? One, two. One! This is great. This is great. Okay. This is not great at all. And there's more energy on the Evil Tell EX. He doesn't have any more energy left, so that's fine. I'm going to bring out the Crobat. He has two more prizes left to go. This is just demolishing me. Uh, probably bring out the AZ. Probably use the AZ. Yeah, I'm just going to use the AZ. Maybe. Sacrifice the Ditto. Maybe not. 
Um, too bad I didn't have another Crobat though. That'd be that'd be perfect. Or not a Crobat, a Golbat. Well, I'm gonna sacrifice a Zubat because uh, you know why not? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna sacrifice a Zubat. I'm never gonna win this. There's no. Oh shoot! Undo last action. I need to transform into the Ditto. Yeah, this is not going anywhere. He has way too many things powered up on his bench. Maybe I shouldn't have put all that damage on the Mewtwo. Because now I'm just, like, screwed at this point. <laughs> and then, I guess we'll... Put this on my Crobat. Undo last action. Can't do that. I need to get Wobbuffet in play. That's what I need to do. And he's going to AZ his Mewtwo. No, his Dark Rye. <sighs> Put it back down. <clears throat> so there goes all that damage that I had on him. <laughs> yeah, I lost. There's no way, There's no way I'm going to win this. No way at all. Maybe I can get a knockout, though. That would be pretty cool. Probably not. I'm not gonna There's no way. There's no way at this point that I can do anything. I don't have a Wobbuffet in play. I don't even know if I have one left in my deck. It's probably prized. There's a Wobbuffet, though. Okay. No energy. Seriously? I didn't draw an energy? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, he just won the game. Yeah, I wouldn't have knocked him out anyways. I only have, what, 80 damage on him. I'll, I'll put more damage on him. There we go. Well, now he has 100. See, my Wobbuffet can knock him out now. But it's not going to happen. So, that's, that's the end of that game. Uh, that was a good game. <laughs> he has a pretty... I mean, if he didn't have a bad start... I would have gotten demolished so much earlier than I did. Um, so yeah, he's just going to knock on my Wobbuffet. And yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get in another game. Dang it, that was a terrible... I don't even know. I, I guess I don't know what the strategy is to this deck. Because I was going... I was putting everything on the Mewtwo. And that was probably not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. So we're going to pick Tails. Hopefully we can go first. Sweet, we get to go first. And I like that. I like that a lot. So, I started with a Jirachi, but I don't have to put the Jirachi down, which is nice. Actually, I, that's fine. That's perfect that I start with the Jirachi, because now I can get, like, an N. And he's going to mulligan so many times. It looks like he's playing a Roarus deck. And that is going to allow me to draw all the cards I need. So, hopefully, I can start with, like, some sort of Zubat or millions of Zubats. Oh, man. Yeah, so I'm going to put the wall that down, and I'm going to draw a lot of cards. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, there's a Zubat, and a lot of other things. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of the Jirachi. Probably not. I can't use it anyways because my Wobbuffet's the active Pokemon. I'm going to just put that down. Probably get rid of the Skyla. Welcome to the Blizzard Beach. Oh, shoot. I don't like Blizzard Beaches. I don't like them at all. Probably get rid of the Skyla, Culverse, AZ. Skyla. Oh, I already clicked the Skyla. AZ. I'm gonna get rid of the AZ for now, so I can have my VS Seeker later if I need it. Probably get a Zubat out. Yeah, probably. Zubat it is. And then we can uh, start evolving next turn. Um, I think that's a good idea. Or I could get another Zubat out this turn, and then Calrus next turn. Nah, it's, it's good the way it is right now. Okay, so what does this Blizzard... Blizzard Beach do? I don't know what he's talking about. Welcome to Blizzard Beach. I don't know what that means, but we'll see what it means soon enough. He does the Fossil Researcher, and he gets two Aurora's Eye on his bench. We finally, or we get the Dimension Valley in play, we can evolve into the Golbat. That's good. Put that damage on to, he has an Outrage attack though. Oh man, okay, I kind of want to get a Golbat in play. Um, what does he have? Or I could get an AZ. Oh, I already used it, so I, now I have to. Um, well... Yeah, I guess I could AZ, yeah, whatever, we'll just do it, we'll, we'll, we'll AZ the 
Golbat here. Put 20 more damage onto his Kirim. And then we can... Uh, maybe that was a bad idea. That was probably a bad idea. Oh well. <laughs> uh, I, I could get a Ditto though this turn. And then just... Yeah, we'll put the Jirachi in our discard pile. Why not? And we'll get a Ditto. And see what we can do next turn. And then we'll just attack this turn for 50 damage. So now he has 90 damage. I can officially knock him out now with my Wobbuffet with one more attack. So we'll see. And he doesn't have any abilities because of my Wobbuffet, so that's nice. But he has a hard charm now, so... Dang it! Pokemon Center Lady! Why do you have to be so mean? Okay, so we do get the Crobat. That. Get it? They're kind of rhyme, Not really. Um... I could AZ again, um, put 20 onto the Kirim, but at this point it doesn't really matter because I'm going to, it has to take two hits anyways. Uh, but there's a Golbat, which is perfect. That is actually really perfect. And we have a Peter Church for next turn, so we're going to put 20 more damage onto that Kirim, and we're going to attack again, do 70 damage, and now this Kirim needs 30 more damage to die. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Gold Potion, come on! <laughs> we're eventually going to get this Kirim, and he's going to die. So he's going to end me, which I'm perfectly fine with. Give me more six more cards. And there's a Crobat. We can evolve. And his Aurora is actually not going to do much because of my Wobbuffet. Thanks to you, Wobbuffet. There is 90 damage on my Wobbuffet, which is kind of scary, actually. Um, and there is a Crobat, so I'm just going to evolve. Don't have an AZ or anything else. But let's see what we can do. I'm doing 90 plus 10 is 100. 120. Perfect. Muscle Band is going to knock out this Kirim. Perfect. Very, very perfect. Okay, let's try to... Dang it. Uh, poke, Pokemon Fan Club for a Jirachi. I don't have a Jirachi, so I'm just going to get... Wow. I don't have much left in my deck. I have another Ditto, though, so I'm just going to put that down. And I guess just put the... Oh, shoot. Cancel, cancel! Dang it, I have to put it down now! <laughs> See, that's one stupid thing about the energy you can't go back. You can't stop putting it down. Okay, whatever. I'll just put it on the Crobat. Whatever. 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 We're going to Psychic Salt. Tag out this Kirim. EX. And hopefully get another gold back here. I wanted to put the energy down on the Ditto, but I realized you can't put Mystery Energy down on the Ditto. So I was like, oh crap, I want to do this one on the Ditto. And then it didn't let me go back. Because I wanted to put that on the Ditto, so then if I needed to, I could transform into the Wobbuffet and have another Wobbuffet ready to go. But uh, that didn't happen. Uh, but whatever, it works. It works. It worked the way it worked. Okay, so it looks like we have to put another energy. Oh, shoot! Dang it! There goes my stupid frozen sleep. Okay, that's fine, I guess. He takes a prize, whatever. It doesn't matter. Now I just can't attack this turn. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, no, I can't. But I'm gonna get rid of that frozen stupid city. Dang it, come on, why did that... That was stupid. I I hate frozen city. I hate it. I hate stupid mistakes like that, where you're like, oh, I'm gonna put it down. Oh, shoot, I'm dead! Whatever. Well, we're gonna do skull dive here. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. We can't do any damage to the active because his ability is working now because I don't have the Wobbuffet. Why did that have to happen? Come on. Okay, well, next turn we can just retreat. Uh, yeah. Um, probably AZ my Crobat into my hand. And there is actually an escape rope. So I will take that escape rope. And I'll just bring out my other Crobat. <laughs> I'll just take out my other Crobat. He's going to do a couple of damage to my Crobat. But that is not too bad. We're going to put that energy on my Wobbuffet. What kind of Pokemon do I have in here? Jirachi. Yeah, I tried to get the Jirachi before, but that was kind of dumb that I did that. So I think we're going to AZ the Crobat. And then evolve my Ditto into... Not a Crobat. I think that's the best thing I can do. So we're going to take that Crobat back into my hand. Bring out this Crobat, then we can retreat. Then we're going to transform our Ditto into a Zubat. Actually, I don't even need to do that. Can I undo? I can't even undo. 
Why can't I undo anything in this deck? I want to undo. Because I could have just put the Golbat down. I don't even need to do that, but whatever. Oh, we're just going to evolve. And uh, retreat, attack. Actually, yeah. I mean, I'm doing 30 damage anyways with the Wobbuffet. Why not just shut off his abilities as, as well? So we're gonna do 30 damage. Shut off his abilities. And hopefully next turn we can uh, get another Crobat out, get another AZ. Maybe not. Probably won't get an AZ, but uh, hopefully we can do some things. But there is the special energy, Gonzo. So I'm probably gonna have to... Ooh, another Golbat. Nice. Okay. So we're probably gonna have to do this. Do that damage on him. Do this. Get that damage on him as well. And now we are ready to knock out this Kiram again, but I need another energy, so I think I'm just going to Sacred Ash here. Yeah. I have to get rid of the, I, I have to get another energy this turn, otherwise he's gonna start knocking me out. So I'm gonna get rid of I have to discard that Crobat, which is kind of I don't wanna do, but I have to. I have to get an energy. And there's an energy, so I can just attach to the Wobbuffet. And I could even start doing more damage with the super scoop up. Uh Because I could super scoop up my Crobat and then start evolving my Ditto over here. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. Um, I'll wait for Nux. I'll wait till next turn. Though. We'll see what we can do in one turn. So we're going to knock out that Kiram and take some prizes. Yes, another Zubat! <laughs> okay, we might be looking good for a knockout on this Aurorus. So he's going to start powering him up, and he's just going to end his turn. So, if we can get the flip on the heads, we can totally scoop up this Crobat here, and that'll be good. Uh, but I failed. <laughs> so, in that case, we're going to get an AZ out, and we're going to try to AZ my Crobat, and pick up that all those cards, and put the Ditto back down. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Uh, I forgot my Wobbuffet's active, so I can't actually do that. Dang it, come on. Do I have a switch in this deck? I'm going to try to find it. I'm going to try to find the switch. Get rid of the N because it's not very nice. Uh, do I have a switch? I think I have a switch. Maybe I don't. I don't, do I? Uh, well, in that case, let's get one of these. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a switch in this deck. Switch would have been perfect right there, though. I'm probably just going to put a Zubat down. Just one of them. I'm going to try to super scoop up my Wobbuffet here. And if I do, perfect. Because then all that damage will be gone. But if I don't, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I guess it does. But not too bad. Dang it. Well, I, I just don't know how to work this deck, apparently. So, whatever. That's fine. Too bad I didn't have the retreat going for me either. So we're going to Psychic Assault for 40. He's going to need to get a double colorless energy in play in order to knock me out. Too bad I didn't flip heads on that Super Scoop Up though. That would have been funny. But there's a double colorless energy. And now, oh man. I have to do some pretty nice things next turn. Otherwise I'm going to lose. Uh, very nice things. Actually I might need to get another goal bat in play. I don't know if I have any left in my deck, though. I should have one left somewhere. Oh, shoot. Okay, so now he gets rid of my... Dimension Valley, so I'm glad I have this Crobat with the energy on it. So then I can attack with it. Okay, there's a Juniper. We can start evolving our Ditto now. And I think I'm just going to do that. So if I get another Golbat, I can just evolve. Okay, so we're just going to go like this, go like that. And then we have that. This is going to do that. But now we need... Oh man, we need a lot more things. Yeah, we do. We need a lot, a lot. Well, I'm just going to discard these things and see what I have in my deck. Okay, I do have another Golbat. I have a, another Wobbuffet too. How many energies do I have? Okay, I have enough energies. If I can get my Wobbuffet back out, I can knock this guy out. Okay, so we're going to bring the Wobbuffet out and hope to get another energy. Sweet. Perfect. And then we got another Golbat. 
Um, actually, he's, he's reduced by 40, so we're doing uh, way more than f enough, I think. Oh man, we're just going to put 30 on the bench. <laughs> uh, wait, I didn't put 30, I put, I don't even know, don't ask me. Oh shoot, we can't even attack though. Shoot, I can't cancel! Why can't I cancel? I forgot that I can't even attack um, with my Crobat this turn. Oh yeah, I, I, yeah I can, I can just put the Dimension Valley down. This is just... This deck is full of mistakes. Like, if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to make a buttload of mistakes, and that's what I'm doing. A buttload of mistakes. Okay, so, we're just going to attach that for good measure, and we're going to, uh, well, oh, shoot. I should have probably tried to super scoop up, and then try to get my ditto out. That's, that would have probably been a better idea. I mean, probably, I could have super scooped up my Crobat, and then did a ditto, and then evolved another one of my Golbats, and then he would have been 30 HP left to almost dying. But I'm just a noob, apparently, and I don't know how to do things, so there's an N in my hand. There's a Super Scoop Up as well. Um, I could Super Scoop Up. No, I can't. I can't even attack. I'm going to have to try to Super Scoop Up in order to do anything. So I'm going to try to do that. Super scoop up, a crowbat here. What the heck is this? Dang it, I have flip tails. So I'm just gonna end, <laughs> and there's another end. Ah, fun, exciting. Then we're gonna retreat into a goal bat, I guess. It's the only thing we can really do. I don't really want to, I don't know. We're just gonna keep the goal bat out, and there's a hard charm, wow. This is not going well at all. He's gonna take 20 extra damage, and there's a Pokemon Center lady. Oh, shoot, this is going to be hard to win. I have nothing left. Okay, I can AZ. I can get an AZ. And that is actually, will help me a lot. Because then I can AZ my Crobat up. And then use my Ditto to transform. See, there's just so much going on in this deck. You have to know what you're doing. And I, don't, I have no idea what I'm doing, so that's probably why. I'm actually, that is why I'm being a noob. And I don't have any energy to attack, so that's another bad thing about this deck. So I don't, I don't have any energy to attack. So we're just going to just, just, see, we did 50 more damage from the AZ, but now we can't attack. Man, if only, if only I had another energy. I have one more energy left in my deck, if my memory serves me correctly. But he is going to start attacking. So I probably should have left my Golbat up. Not my Golbat, my Crobat. But we're going to bring our, our Crobat up. And we're going to try to get another energy perfect. I think we just won the game now. Oh, shoot. Well, if not, we'll just end. Why Why am I getting all these ends from the ends? Okay, we're going to retreat into the Golbat. And we're going to do some massive damage. Boom, 90 damage. We won the game. Get away from me, Blizzard man. Blizzard beach. Good game, though. It was a good game. I, uh, that was a really close game, actually. I almost lost everything. Uh, but that's probably going to be the episode for today. And hopefully it was a good one. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, like the video if you like it. Subscribe to my channel if you have not. And we'll see you next episode, guys. Thanks for watching.